today is part and parcel due to the devilishment of the Caucasian people who robbed us of our humanity and put us into the throes of slavery. Our black parents packed onto slave ships like cattle, like sardines, amid feces and urine. Our women raped before our own eyes so that today some look like you, some look like me. This was a crime of tremendous proportion. No crime before or since equals this crime. Oh, told us that we were animals, took from us our names, and gave us names like Smith and Jones. And today we wear those names with dignity and pride that were given to us in the name of the greatest crime ever committed on the face of the earth. The Honorable Louis Farrakhan teaches us that we are the chosen. We are the ones that the Almighty God, Allah, has selected as the chosen people and they are masquerading in our garment. The black man doesn't have an identity today. I went up to Harvard Divinity School. Yeah. And, what year? Uh, 1997. Yeah. I went up to Harvard Divinity School because I wanted to uh, take a break for a moment uh, and just really begin to uh, reevaluate life. Uh, Dr. Evelyn Higginbotham, who had been my academic uh, mentor at yeah. Penn, okay. uh, was a professor at the Divinity School, and she encouraged okay. me to, to come up. Great, right. And I needed a break. I read in your bio that so is a uh, your your life story and so forth that you were very greatly inspired by a man named Mr. Thurman. Right. Well, actually, oh, I Howard it. Thurman uh, yeah. is of course uh, deceased. Okay. Um, he was a great theologian, and right. I encountered him at Harvard Divinity School. Um, I you know I I knew of Howard Thurman growing up mm -hmm. uh, in uh, Atlanta and Washington D.C. Right. Howard Thurman's name is everywhere, okay, but yeah. I didn't really. I didn't understand uh, the profundity of mm. Howard Thurman until I took a number of classes on him at Harvard Divinity School. You were right there in the classroom and with the man. It was it was in that it period was, of my life. It was like an epiphany or something. It was it, a great I got epiphany. the fit. Yeah. I was open. I was searching. Yeah. And the broadness of Thurman's theology, uh, his friendships with God, mm. uh, his very ecumenical and interfaith view. And so it, it opened me up, uh, and people, when they read the book, they will see in greater detail yeah. how uh, 
Thurman played a great uh, role in my life. Uh -huh. But but from that uh, study, um, although I didn't intend for it to happen, mm -hmm. I had a very powerful conversion experience. Really? All at one time? A road to uh, Damascus no, thing? No, time. over a period of time. Again, yeah. they, they read the book, they will uh, see the complexities yes. uh, that led to that. Right. But essentially, in the same time period, mm -hmm. I had this uh, Jesse Jackson yeah. mentor. Right, okay. And so okay. people forget that there is yeah. a subversive side to Christianity. Uh, yeah. And unfortunately, uh, with the Emperor Constantine, but what? before mm. that, yeah. of yeah. course, uh, Jesus and his uh, followers were, were really um, people who challenged the existing social Absolutely. order. It was the Roman Empire. Yeah, right. And mm -hmm. so I think in my life, there's a consistency in that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to always be for those who are locked out, who are, who are left out, who are at the bottom, who are the least. Because I believe that Jesus is a God of the oppressed. I believe that God is a God of the oppressed. We'll always be uh, um, fighting for those, standing up for those who, who are locked out. Yeah. Uh, I think now, as I have uh, re-examined uh, uh, my theology. Mm -hmm. uh, I I I believe more, and I and I embrace the principle of reconciliation as as a superior alternative. Oh